Hey there, tarot enthusiasts. Ever feel like you're just one challenge away from victory? Meet the Nine of Wands, your trusty warrior card. This guy's been through the ringer, but guess what? He's still standing strong, bruises and all. Tune in to see how this card's energy can help you power through life's last hurdles. Ready to conquer? Let's dive in. Keywords for the Nine of Wands upright. Resilience, perseverance, stamina, courage, determination, persistence, endurance, defense, vigilance, strength, fortitude, grit, tenacity, preparedness, protection, boundaries, defiance, hardship, survival, recovery. Keywords for the nine of ones in reverse position, exhaustion, fatigue, burnout, overwhelmed, Surrender, weakness, giving up, defensiveness, vulnerability, paranoia, lack of resilience, stubbornness, defeat, insecurity, hesitation, collapse, reluctance, struggle, self-doubt, obstacles. The Suit of Wands in the Tarot the suit of wands is associated with the element of fire, representing action, creativity, and passion. Here are some of the characteristics commonly associated with the suit of wands. Action and initiative. Wands are often linked with taking action, initiating projects, and moving forward with energy and determination. Creativity. This suit embodies creativity, originality, and innovation. It's about expressing oneself authentically and exploring new ideas. Passion and enthusiasm. Wands represent fervor, zeal, and excitement. They signify a strong sense of purpose and enthusiasm for life. Inspiration. Wands are associated with inspiration and the spark of new ideas. They encourage exploration and growth. Courage. This suit symbolizes courage boldness, and taking risks. It suggests being unafraid to pursue one's dreams and aspirations. Energy and vitality. Wands signify vitality, energy, and drive. They represent a zest for life and the willingness to tackle challenges head on. Adventure and exploration. Wands are linked with adventure, exploration, and the seeking of new experiences. They encourage stepping outside of one's comfort zone and embracing the unknown. Leadership. Wands represent leadership qualities, confidence, and the ability to inspire others. They suggest taking charge of a situation and guiding others towards a common goal. Impulsiveness. On the negative side, wands can sometimes indicate impulsiveness, recklessness, or a lack of planning. They caution against acting too hastily without considering the consequences. Overall, the suit of wands embodies the dynamic, energetic, and passionate aspects of human nature, encouraging us to embrace our creativity, take action, and pursue our goals with enthusiasm. The Nine of Wands is rich in symbolism, reflecting themes of resilience and perseverance. Here are the key elements and their meanings. Wounded figure. The central character often depicted with the bandage or injury symbolizes enduring past struggles and the toll they've taken, yet still standing strong. Standing position. Despite being hurt, the figure stands tall, representing determination and the refusal to give up. Defensive stance. The figure is usually on guard, indicating vigilance and preparedness for any further challenges. Wands. The eight wands planted at the ground behind the figure Signify previous battles or obstacles that have been faced and overcome. Single wand in hand. Holding the ninth wand shows readiness to face the next challenge, embodying strength and resilience. Bandages. These symbolize wounds from past conflicts, emphasizing the cost of perseverance and the resilience required to keep going. Background. The often desolate or barren landscape suggests a tough environment, highlighting the difficulty of the journey. Posture. The figure's posture is often slightly hunched or weary, reflects the fatigue that comes from continuous effort and vigilance. 
expression. A determined or wary expression on the figure's face conveys the mental fortitude and consciousness development from experience. Together, these symbols encapsulate the essence of the Nine of Wands, enduring hardship, staying vigilant, and being prepared to face whatever comes next with unwavering determination. In numerology, the number nine is associated with a range of profound and complex themes. Here are some key aspects of the number nine in numerology. Completion. Number nine is seen as the final single digit, representing the end of a cycle and the completion of a phase. Universal love. It embodies a sense of compassion, empathy, and selflessness, often linked to humanitarianism and altruism. Wisdom. The number nine is associated with inner wisdom and spiritual enlightenment, often suggesting a deep understanding of life's greater truths. Service. It signifies a strong drive to help others and contribute positively to the community or the world at large. Introspection. Reflecting a tendency towards reflection and introspection, the number nine often prompts an examination of personal beliefs and values. Transformation. It symbolizes transformation and the potential for significant change, often linked to personal growth and development. Idealism. Number nine is associated with the visionary outlook, often aspiring to higher ideals and the betterment of society. Forgiveness. It embodies the forgiveness and ability to let go of past grievances, encouraging emotional healing and reconciliation. Creativity. The number nine is linked to artistic expression and creativity, often inspiring innovative and imaginative pursuits. Leadership. It signifies a form of leadership that is compassion and inclusive, guiding others with empathy and understanding. Overall, the number nine in numerology represents a blend of completion, compassion, wisdom, and transformative energy highlighting the themes of ending cycles and embracing humanitarian ideals. Zodiac sign associated with the Nine of Wands. Sagittarius. Traits. Sagittarius is known for its adventurous, optimistic, and philosophical nature. This sign embodies the spirit of exploration, resilience, and a quest for knowledge and truth, aligning well with the endurance and determination symbolized by the Nine of Wands. Influence. The association with Sagittarius emphasizes themes of perseverance through challenges, maintaining hope and optimism, and a broader perspective on life's struggles. Planet. Mars. Traits. Mars is a planet of action, drive, and courage. It represents aggression, assertiveness, and the energy required to overcome obstacles. Influence. Mars's influence on the Nine of Wands highlights the card's themes of stamina, defense, and a fighting spirit necessary to stand one's ground despite adversity. Element. Fire. Traits. Fire symbolizes energy, passion, creativity, and willpower. Air represents both the light of inspiration and the heat of determination. Influence. The element of fire reinforces the dynamic and resilient energy of the Nine of Wands, emphasizing the card's connection to inner strength, perseverance, and the drive to push through difficulties. These associations together paint a picture of the Nine of Wands as a card of steadfastness and warrior-like spirit drawing on the adventurous and optimistic traits of Sagittarius. The assertive and energetic influence of, of Mars and the passionate, enduring energy of the fire element. The Nine of Wands in a yes-no reading generally leans towards a maybe or a cautious yes. Here's why. Perseverance. It suggests that while a situation is challenging, persistence and determination can lead to success. Defense. There may be obstacles or the need for vigilance, indicating that the outcome depends on your ability to endure and protect your interests. Caution. The card also warns of being wary and prepared for further challenges, implying that 
Success is possible, but not without effort and caution. So the Nine of Wands encourages you to proceed, but with a mindful and prepared approach. The Watchful Night, Part 1 In the heart of the sleepy town of Everwood, where ancient trees whispered secrets to the wind, and cobblestone streets echoed the footsteps of those who walked before, there lived a man named Elias. He wasn't a warrior by nature, but circumstances had forced him into that role. Elias had a gentle heart, but his eyes told the story of battles fought and won, not distant battlefields, but within the very soul of Everwood itself. Elias's home was a small, humble cottage on the edge of the forest, the walls, weathered by time, stood strong against the elements, much like Elias himself. The cottage was surrounded by a garden, meticulously tended to with herbs and flowers that carried both beauty and purpose. Each plant held a story, a memory of the past struggles and victories, much like the nine wooden stakes Elias had driven into the ground around his home. These stakes weren't just wooden posts, they were his wands, his silent sentinels, each one represented a challenge that he had overcome, a reminder of the resilience that kept him standing. The ninth stake, freshly carved, was the newest addition, a testament to his latest victory against the shadows that placed, plagued Everwood. Everwood had always been a place of magic and mystery, the forest held secrets in its depths, and the townsfolks respected the ancient trees and spirits and believed and the spirits believed to dwell within. But for the past year a darker presence had settled over the town. Strange occurrences became more frequent, livestock disappeared, crops withered overnight, and an airy silence would often blanket the town at dusk. The townspeople were on edge, and their fear was palpable. Elias, with his innate sensitivity to the supernatural, had taken upon himself to protect Everwood. His nights were spent patrolling the perimeter of his home, eyes scanning the shadows for any signs of the malevolent force that had lurked just out of sight. On this particular night, the moon hung low and heavy in the sky casting a silver sheen over the forest. Elias stood in his garden, leaning on the ninth stake. His muscles ached and weariness tugged at his eyelids, but he knew better than to let his guard down. The enemy was relentless, and he had been just as unwieldy. As he stood there, lost in his thoughts, a rustling sound broke the stillness. Elias's grip tightened on the handle of his lantern. His heart pounded in his chest each beat echoing like a war drum. He scanned the tree line for any sign of movement. A shadow flickered between the trees and Elias felt a chill run down his spine. It wasn't the wind, it was something else, something darker. He took a deep breath and stepped forward, holding the lantern to hide to cast its lights further into the woods. Elias, a voice called from the shadows, soft, yet chilling. He recognized the voice immediately. It was Sable, the town's enigmatic healer. Sable had always been a mystery to the townsfolk, with her knowledge of herbs and potions, and her ability to commune with the spirits of the forest. Elias had come to trust her over the years, though he often wondered about the depth of her connection to the other worldly. Sable, he replied, his voice steady but cautious. What are you doing out here? She stepped into the light, her dark clo cloak billowing around her like smoke. Her eyes, a deep penetrating green, met his. I've sensed the disturbance tonight, she said her voice barely more than a whisper. Something is coming. Coming. Something we may not be prepared for. Elias nodded. 
I felt it too. It's stronger tonight. Sable approached him, her eyes scanning the stakes. You've done well to protect your home, but these words won't be enough. You need to find the source of the darkness and confront it. Elias sighed, the weight of her words pressing down on him. Do you have any idea where it might be? She hesitated, then nodded. There's an old clearing deep within the forest, a place where the veil between our world and the spirit world is thin. I've sensed a dark energy gathering there. We need to go there, Elias, and we need to do it tonight. Elias felt the surge of resolve. He had spent too many nights standing guard, waiting for the darkness to come to him. It was time to take the fight to it. Lead the way, he said, his voice firm. As they made their way into the forest, the air grew colder, and the shadows seemed to press in on them from all sides. The path was narrow and winding, the trees towering above like silent sentinels. Elias's mind raced with thoughts of what they might find, but he kept his focus on the task at hand. After what felt like hours, they emerged into a clearing bathed in a pale light of the moon. The air was thick with tension. Elias could feel the presence of something otherworldly in the center of clearings. It stood an ancient stone altar covered in strange glowing red. Sable stepped forward, her eyes fixed on the air. This is the source, she said. The darkness is using this place as a gateway. Elias felt a surge of anger. How do we stop it? He, she turned to him, her expression grave. We need to perform a ritual to close the gateway. It will, be, it will require both of our strengths. Elias nodded determination etched into his features. Tell me what to do. Sable began to instruct him, her voice steady and confident. Together they gathered the necessary ingredients, herbs, stones, and a vial of Sable's own blood. As they worked, the air grew colder, and the shadows seemed to pulse within a sinister energy. Finally, they were ready. Sable took Elias's hand and they stood before their altar, their combined energies creating a barrier against the darkness. She began to chant, her voice rising and falling in a melodic, otherworldly rhythm. Elias felt a surge of power flow through him and he joined in, his voice blending with hers. The runes on the sides of the altar began to glow brighter. And the dark mist started to rise from the ground. The shadows swirled around them, pressed against the barrier they had created. Elias's heart pounded, but he held his ground, focusing his energy on the ritual. As the chanting reached its crescendo, the mist thickened, and the figure began to form within it. It was a twisted monster shape, its eyes burning with malevolence. Elias felt the chill run down his spine, but he didn't waver. Sable's voice grew louder, more commanding, and the figure writhed in agony. Elias, Elias added his strength to hers. Pushing against the darkness with all his might, the figure let out a blood-curdling scream, and the mist began to dissipate drawn back into the altar. With a final defiant cry, the figure vanished, and the clearing was plunged into silence. The runes on the altar dimmed, and the oppressive energy lifted. Elias felt a wave of relief wash over him, but he knew that their work wasn't done. Sable turned to him. Her eyes were weary but triumphant. We've done it, Elias. The gateway is closed. Elias nodded, his exhaustion catching up with him. For now, but we'll need to remain vigilant. This darkness won't give up easily. Sable smiled faintly. I know. 
but tonight we have won. They made their way back to Everwood, the forest once again peaceful and serene. As they emerged from the trees, Elias felt a renewed sense of purpose. The nine stakes around his home stood as a testament to his resilience, and now, with Sable by his side, he knew he could face whatever darkness came their way. Elias returned to his cottage, the first light of dawn breaking over the horizon. He stood in his garden looking out at the stakes and felt a sense of pride. He had faced the darkness and emerged victorious, but he also knew that this was only the beginning. The fight was far from over, but Elias was ready. He had the strength of the Nine of Wands, the wisdom of Sable, and the unwavering resolve of the Protector. No matter what came next, he would stand strong, guarding the heart of Everwood against encroaching shadows. And so, as the sun rose over the ancient trees, Elias took his place once more, ever watchful, ever vigilant, ever ready to face the challenges of the night with the steadfast courage of the Nine of Wands. An affirmation for the Nine of Wands upright. I am resilient and strong. No matter the challenges I face, I stand firm and persevere. I trust in my ability to overcome obstacles and protect my progress. My determination knows no bounds. An affirmation for the reverse Nine of Wands. I release the need to fight every battle. I honor my limits and give myself permission to rest and recover. I trust that stepping back can lead to renewed strength and clarity. In summary, the Nine of Wands is a card of resilience and perseverance. It depicts a wounded figure standing guard, symbolizing the determination to defend one's position despite past struggles and ongoing challenges. This card represents vigilance, endurance, and the strength to face adversity head on, emphasizing the importance of maintaining courage and staying prepared for any future obstacles. Reversed, it suggests exhaustion, defensiveness, and the potential need to reassess one's approach and take a break to avoid burnout.